Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is Say Thank You, part two. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Exodus chapter one and verse 12. But the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. So the Egyptians came to dread the Israelites. The last day I brought a message on the need for us to sustain a posture of thanksgiving throughout this year. As I did my Bible study yesterday, I reread our anchor scripture and I thought I should linger on this issue of thanksgiving a bit longer. In our anchor scripture, Joseph had died and a pharaoh who didn't know the history of Joseph and his people and how they came to settle in Egypt arose. Because he was blinded to that history, he didn't understand how the Israelites became so blessed and so many. So he felt threatened and decided to enslave and subdue them so that there wouldn't even be a remote chance that they could rebel against Egypt. The Bible gives us very interesting detail in our anchor scripture. The more the Israelites were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. The more the negative was applied on the Israelites, the more positives occurred in their community. I know I alluded to this yesterday, but it is worth repeating. One reason we should have the confidence to thank God in all seasons, whether positive or negative in our eyes, is that there is nothing the enemy can do to you that God cannot bring good out of. The only time things will remain negative is if the sound of your thanksgiving is not heard. Let me say that again in a different way. You see this God that we worship, he is a specialist at bringing good out of bad. Track back to Genesis chapter 1. What did God do in the beginning? He called light out of darkness. There was darkness. Out of it, he called light. That dark situation in your life is the perfect raw material for a miracle. The missing ingredient is your thanksgiving. My dear listeners, do not let anything steal your praise or your thanks this year. Refuse to allow the enemy bully you into murmuring. It is murmuring and complaining that will perpetuate darkness. Look the oppression in the face and rejoice. Rejoice because yours is a God who specializes in making miracles out of messes. Just in case someone is thinking this is a fluke. Shall I give you more examples? How about Joseph? From pit to Potiphar to prison and then out of that was the fourth P, the palace. How about Jesus? Out of the grave, God brought the resurrection of not just one man, but all of us who named the name of Christ. If you cannot find any other reason to make thanksgiving a habit this year, do it because you have caught a revelation that with God, light can be called from darkness. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Father, please give us the grace to truly love you because we know that for those of us who do, all things will work together for our good. For this, we can afford to give you praise and thanks in advance. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.